Today, I'm going to show you how to create fairy wings, a key ingredient in many potions. The things we will need to create this are either a glass bottle or a test tube, whatever shape, size, whatever feels right to you is fine. Um, if you're going to use the colorful wings, you will need your wings printed on a piece of transparency paper or film. And I'm also going to include a black and clear version that doesn't have the color if you would rather not have the color in your wings. Or if you decide you want to do a more organic version, I'm going to show you a way that we can use some of the maple tree seedlings that kids sometimes call propellers. Um, I'm going to show you that as well. We will need a pair of scissors. We will need some optional jute twine. A hot glue gun with hot glue and our label printed on sticker paper, and the link for this is in the description down below. Let's get started. Okay, so if you're going to do the um, transparency film version, the first thing you need to do is take your wings, colored or uncolored, and cut them out. If you have a Cricut, by all means, allow that to cut it out for you. It'll make your life a little bit easier. If not, it's not that hard to cut these out by hand. And once we get our wings cut out, um, I'm then going to actually take my wings and I'm going to fold them in half just to kind of give them a little bit more dimension. And I kind of feel like if you were going to pluck your wings off of a fairy, um, it, it may be the two wings together. And just so you know, it is completely harmless to remove the fairy's wings. They grow back in a month. Fairies are just very irritated by it because they're very vain creatures according to Newt's commander. So um, fold your wings in half. And once we have all of our wings folded, we're going to go ahead and start to fill our jar. And this is kind of, you know, up to you how you want to load them up. And if you don't like the placement of your wings, by all means, use a cooking skewer or a piece of wire, something long that will just kind of help you um, move and adjust where the wings are. And once you've placed all of your wings in your jar, that's pretty much all we need to do for the filling of it. So then we're going to go ahead and just cap it up. And then we can embellish the bottle. Okay, to embellish our bottle, we're going to go ahead and take our label. And again, I like to print mine on sticker paper because I feel like it just makes your life a whole lot easier to stick it on the bottle. By all means, you could use regular paper and Mod Podge or glue, um, but the sticker paper to me just makes life so much easier. And as always, I go around the edge with a matching marker just to kind of give it a little bit more of a finished edge. It also will hide any cutting imperfections that you might have. And again, if you have a Cricut, by all means, you could have it cut it out, but um, I usually just cut mine by hand. So we're going to go ahead and peel the backing paper off. And then we're just going to place it on our bottle. And once we get our label on, we can go ahead and finish embellishing. So I'm going to put a little bit of cording around the top. And just as a refresher, we make a U. And capture it. And once you think it's sufficiently wrapped, we're going to go ahead and cut the cording. And then we're going to take our end and put it through our U. And then we're going to pull down on our bottom string that's the bottom of the U. And that's going to tighten everything up. And it's going to pull that string behind our wrappings. And then we can just cut this flush. And then we have wrapped our bottle without any glue to hold the wrapping. And I'm going to take this one step further. I took one of my extra wings that I didn't end up putting in the bottle, and I have just knotted some of my jute twine around it. And I'm actually going to hot glue it right here on the side so we have some wings kind of embellishing the jar. So 
so now we just have a little wing embellishment on the side of our jar. Okay, so the other option that you can use for fairy wings besides the transparency film would be to collect all of these little maple seedlings off of your trees when they drop. Um, it's kind of that time of the year. I literally just went out and swept up some off of my driveway, and I just allowed them to dry for a couple days. And they have this really amazing veining in them that just mimics the veins in a wing. So all I'm going to do so it doesn't just look like a seed is cut the actual little seed off. And I'm just going to literally follow the natural curve of that. And then we are left with a wing. So for this version, all I'm going to do is take my test tube. And as I cut my wings, I'm just going to fill it up. And once you get your test tube filled the way you'd like, then we're just going to cork it and we're going to add our same label. And there you have it, our Fairy Wings potion ingredient in two different ways. This will be a great addition to our potion prop collection of making along the way. So if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.